Hallelujah. Lord Almighty God, we worship you. King of glory, we give you praise. Everlasting Redeemer, we glorify your name. Father, we declare that you are God that reigneth from, from everlasting to everlasting. There is no God like you, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the ancient of days and the rock of ages. Lord Almighty God, tonight we worship you. In Jesus' name, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, brother, quickly, I would like to introduce uh, the topic of our prayer tonight. The topic says, forcing our way to breakthrough through prayer. Amen. Forcing our way to breakthrough through prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, to help us understand this topic, I will read from Matthew chapter 11, uh, from verse 12. Matthew 11, verse 12. Matthew 11, 12 says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, mm. the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. Amen. Bible Amen. says, as from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and only the violent take it by force. Amen. That is the reason why tonight we have come here as men and women ready. Hallelujah. Amen. To take whatever the enemy has collected from us Hallelujah. by force in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. 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 We shall also look at what the Bible says in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Luke 10 verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Yes, the Bible says, Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And it says nothing. I'm interested in this word, nothing. Amen. It says nothing shall by any means hurt us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I take note there of the word power. The word power here also signifies dunamis which is a Greek philosophical concept for power or ability. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that a God has given us power. In other words, as we engage in prayer tonight, we are going to receive enhanced ability Amen. against all the powers of darkness, mm. against all the spiritual wickedness operating in high places. Amen. We are going to gain enhanced ability. Mm. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I also want us to see what the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to 8. Psalms 2 from verse 1 to 8. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, mm. saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that seated in heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill mm. of Zion. Yes. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, yes. Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the hidden for their inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, people of God, the truth is there is an eternal possession that the enemy has robbed us, has robbed this generation from. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And we have come tonight in full claim to take back whatever the enemy has stolen from us in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We believe that as we engage the devil in prayer, in battle tonight, hallelujah, Amen. we shall receive power to root out and to pull down, Amen. to draw and to destroy, hallelujah. to build and to plant in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what we believe. Mm -hmm. And we have come in full ability. We have come in full knowledge, Amen. knowing that the enemy 
can never, never again, hallelujah, deceive us because we have received knowledge Amen. from the word of God to tackle him tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To begin, I would like us to just thank the Lord Almighty God in any way possible. If you know God has been good to you this week or even in this month, we have just begun a new month, the month of March. If you know God has been good to you somehow, you have some testimonies of what God has done. This is the hour I'd just like us to thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just appreciate him. As we read from the book of Psalms 149, reading from verse 1 to 4. Psalms 149, verse 1 to 4. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the, in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and, and harp. harp. For the Lord taketh Take pleasure, pleasure in, in his, his people. people. He will beautify the, the meek, meek with salvation. salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord taketh pleasure in his people and he shall beautify the meek with salvation Amen. hallelujah Amen. as we engage in prayer tonight i believe that we have come with the right spirit with the spirit of humility with the spirit of meekness mm -hmm. and as we pray the lord is going to decorate us the lord is going to beautify us with his salvation in the name of jesus Amen. from the book of psalms 126 we shall also read from verse 1 to 5. when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. The Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Amen. Verse 5. They that sow so in tears shall reap in joy. joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Psalms 1, Psalms 95, reading from verse 1 to 3. Psalms 95, 1 to 3. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the, to the rock, rock of our salvation. salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God. And a, a great, great king above all, all gods. gods. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, tonight with joy in our heart, I want us to, as we approach the throne of grace, to begin to thank the Lord Almighty God Amen. for whatever God has done to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord Almighty God for the gift of life that you are alive today is not by your strength. It's all by the grace of God. Amen. Thank him for the miracle of sight. Thank him for the miracle of speech. There are some that got up this morning and they could not speak. Mm. There are some people that got up this morning and they could not walk. Mm. I just want you to lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of God. Show some gratitude unto the Lord. Bless him, appreciate him. Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for every good and wonderful thing, O King of Glory, that you have done unto us, O Lord. Father, I want to thank you for the peace of God that reigneth in my family, for the joy of the Lord that reigneth in my life. I want to thank Thank you, Father, for, the, for your provision, O King of Glory. I want to thank you for shelter over my family and over my children. I want to thank you even for clothing. Father, I do not take these things for granted. King of Glory, this week, O Lord, you showed me kindness in different ways. Father, I want to say thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. And we bless your name, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Hallelujah. I want us to also thank God for the life of our children. Amen. You know, at this time, the world is passing through one of the most terrible times of human history. Hallelujah. Amen. And our young people are suffering so much. It is a situation which it's above them to manage. Hallelujah. Amen. But somehow, by the grace of God, God has been able to keep our children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are still in their mental sanity. Amen. They are still in their spiritual sanity. Amen. I want us to just thank God for the joy and the peace of God Amen. that reigneth in the heart of our children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That they are still attached to the family. They still have this sense of belonging onto the family. They do not feel bored. Hallelujah. Amen. We can still enjoy that unity and harmony Amen. even as a family. Amen. 
I just want us to thank God for our children. Yes. Lift up your voices wherever you are yes. and say, Father, I want to thank you for my children. Thank you, thank you for the joy of the Lord. Yes. Thank you for the peace of God. Yes. Thank you, mighty King of glory, for this great and wonderful thing, O oh Lord, that you keep doing in the life of our children. Thank you for sustaining them. Thank you for keeping their mental abilities. Thank you for keeping their mental sanity, oh God. Thank you for keeping their spiritual sanity. In the name of Jesus, Amen. eternal Redeemer, we bless your name. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 At this point, brethren, I would like us to, as we, are, we come before the throne of grace of the Most High God, hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that we should not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I will want us to observe, uh, examine ourselves spiritually as we approach the throne of grace tonight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We're mm -hmm. going to read from the book of Acts of the Apostles from chapter 3 and verse 19. Acts of the Apostles chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out at the times of refreshing. I believe tonight as we gather together, this is an hour of refreshing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, it is also a time that we can present ourselves unto the Lord Almighty God. Amen. 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 As we ask him for mercy in for anything whatsoever that we think we have done Amen. that is not right before God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. Isaiah 1, 18, 19 says, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they mm. shall be as white as snow. Yes. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. Amen. You know what the Bible says? It says come, let us reason together. Come, let us have an understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Come, let us work together as a family. Amen. Whatever that situation is, whatever that problem is, the Lord says he's going to take care of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, if you are willing and obedient, hallelujah, Amen. you shall eat the good of the land. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 20, please. Ecclesiastes 7, 20 says, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Yes, there is not a just man on earth that does good continually and sinneth not. There is not a just man that does good and sinneth not. Therefore, every one of us, including us pastors, including the bishops, hallelujah, amen. every one of us in some way, somehow, amen, amen, we may fall short of the glory of God. Amen. And so that's why it's important tonight that before we begin our prayers, so that the enemy will not use this as an obstacle, as a hindrance to our prayers, hallelujah, amen. amen. Remember what the Bible says, it says that if we regard iniquity in our heart, the Lord will not hear us when we pray, hallelujah. Therefore, as we gather together tonight, I want us to go before the throne of grace of the most high God and begin to pray asking the Lord for mercy humble yourself in the spirit say father here I am O king of glory I know O Lord that my righteousness is like a filthy rack in your sight I come tonight O king of glory to ask for mercy forgive me my sins O Lord forgive me my trespasses wash me O Lord with the precious blood of your only son Jesus and make me whole tonight in the name of of Jesus Christ, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Please, can you also read me the book of First John? First John, chapter one, verse seven to ten. First John one seven to ten. Yes. But if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, yes. it's faithful and just to forgive us our sins mm. and to cleanse us from all, all unrighteousness. Our if we say that we have not sinned, mm. we make him a liar, and Amen. his word is not in us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hear what the Bible it says, he shall cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Heavenly Father, tonight I just thank you as I come before you, O oh Lord. Amen. In any way, Father, we have fallen short 
of the glory of God tonight. Amen. Lord, cleanse us, wash us with the precious blood of your only son, Amen. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. But then this time, I want us to pray for our children. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to intercede for our children, especially those those around the teenage age and uh, the adult age. I want us to stand in the gap for them. Amen. Remember, as we read in scripture from the book of Job, the Bible tells us how Job used to pray for his children. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He would pray and say, paraventure, they offended God. Amen. Paraventure, they offended someone. Amen. Unknowingly, hallelujah. Amen. And he would stand in the gap for his children and pray. So therefore tonight, I want us to pray that God will have mercy. Amen. In any way, our children have offended the Lord. Amen. In any way, they have used the curse word. Amen. In any way, they have blasphemed. Amen. In any way they have offended their fellow man, tonight we bring them before the throne of grace of the Most High God, Amen. and we plead for the mercy of God upon their life, in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh Lord, we ask for mercy, mercy upon our children, forgive them, O King of Glory, in any way they have fallen short, O King of Glory, in any way, Lord Almighty, that they have used some idle words in their mouth, they have not regarded you as God, in any way they have engaged in themselves, O God, into activities, O King of Glory, that are unholy before you, Father, we ask for mercy tonight, in the name of Jesus, forgive them their trespasses, O King of Glory, forgive them their trespasses, Lord, in Jesus' name, we have prayed, we are also going to pray hallelujah again for our children and this time around we shall be praying and asking god that that our children shall encounter christ in their life that christ be revealed unto them hallelujah they will not just have a history of christianity over them Oh, my father was a pastor. Oh, my father was an elder in church. Oh, my mommy was a deacon. No, not that kind of story. That they themselves will have a personal encounter Amen. with Christ Jesus. Amen. That the word of God shall be revealed to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That they shall know Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your mouth, brethren, and begin to pray. Oh, yes. Heavenly Father, we pray for an encounter. An encounter, oh God, that our children shall encounter Jesus. That Christ shall be revealed to our children. That they will come to know the Lord as their personal Lord and Savior. Oh, yes, oh King of glory, that they will not just be religiously inclined, but there shall be men and women that will know the Lord, and they will serve him in truth and in spirit, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy name, O King of glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our next prayer point is under idolatry. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I sat before the Lord of waiting, and I came to realize that one of the, the weapons that the enemy is using against people in this generation is the spirit of idolatry. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we have different ways by which we have coined it so that we will not feel guilty about it. Hallelujah. Amen. It is just all about ourselves. It is just all about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Our Christianity in this generation is so plastic. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Amen. And I came to understand that there is a lot of worship of ourselves. There is a lot of worship of superstars. There is a lot of worship of pastors nowadays, or men of God, as you may put it. There is a lot of worship of our jobs. Many people can easily find it convenient to take excuse Hallelujah. From upsetting for certain church activities or certain church responsibility as a result of their job. Hallelujah. It's very convenient for us to do that. Amen. Amen. The worship of our children. Many people don't know that we have deviated. We have taken our attention away from Christ and we have fixed it on our children. We have fixed it on our families. Mm -hmm. Some of us, it is on our wives. Some of us, it's on our husbands. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And so our attention on Christ is divided. Mm -hmm. But that is not how God wants us to worship him. Mm -hmm. God wants us to give him our own divided attention. Mm -hmm. He wants us to fix our eyes on him. Mm -hmm. Because he is the author and the finisher of our feet. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we'll be reading from the book of First Kings, First Kings chapter 18, from verse 16 to 21. First Kings 18, 16 to 21. Yes. 
Verse 16 says, so Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, and it came to pass, when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said unto him, Are thou he that troubled Israel? <laughs> Read on. And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that they have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, mm -hmm. and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore, send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Ba, 450, and the prophets of the groves, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. table. So they have sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, how Amen. long halt he between two opinions? Mm. If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Ba, then follow him. And the people answered him, not a word. word. Hallelujah. Yeah. So in the days of Elijah, Elijah saw that the worship of idol was, it was a very serious issue in his times. Mm -hmm. And he decided to confront it. Mm -hmm. He was a very bold man. He decided to make a decision that the people will have to decide either to continue to worship Baal, hallelujah, mm -hmm. or the God of Greece. Mm -hmm or they will continue to worship the Lord Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He was not timid about it. He confronted the situation mm -hmm. because he knew that it was a serious matter. He said, for how long shall you continue to hold between two opinions? For how long shall we continue to jump in between two opinions? Mm -hmm. We are divided in our attention. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We do not have a single minded, we do not have a single mind towards the things of God. And Elijah, Summon the people of Mount Carmel, and he had to, you know, summon to bring down the worshippers of Baal. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When he commanded fire to come down from heaven that consumed the sacrifice on the altar. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us also read from the book of 2 Timothy, from chapter 3, 1 to 5. 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Yes. Says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, mm. disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, yes. truth breakers, mm. false accusers, yes. incontinent, yes. fierce, despisers of those that are good, mm. traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers, lovers of, of God. God. Having a form of godliness, but, but denying the power thereof from such wrong. Away. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, just like Elijah identified that idol worship was a problem in his time, mm. even in our times, idol worship is also an issue. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what the Bible says. It says, in the last days, perilous times shall come mm. when men shall be worshippers of themselves. Mm. They shall be lovers of pleasure. Hallelujah. Amen. If you look at all the various things you know, written here in this scripture, it has been coined in different ways. These are the different ways by which men have retreated from worshiping God to worshiping of our own selves. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And so that is why tonight we must take this very seriously. We have to pray so that even as we are living at this time, that we do not fall victims of these things. Amen. So also shall our children and our children, children, not become victims of this kind of situation Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So our first prayer point we are going to pray, Lord, disconnect me and my household Amen. from the temptation of idolatry or name. any aspect of self adoration in, in name Jesus' of name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, separate me Amen. and my household. Separate me and my family. Separate me and my children. Yes. Me and my wife. Yes. Yes. Of glory from the yes. temptation yes. of idolatry yes. and any aspect of self adoration yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, yes. King of glory, yes. separate me, Lord, from those things, oh God. Yes. Those things that are connected to the flesh. Yes. Those things that will easily make me, oh King of glory, to look for excuse yes. for. 
from serving you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, help me, oh God, oh, God, that I do not become a victim of these things. That my way. children, oh God, and my children, children mm. shall not become victims of this situation in, in the name way. of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Prayer number two. Hallelujah. Amen. That our young men and women, hallelujah, shall receive power to lead our sons and daughters of God, mm. filled with the spirit of humility, mm. gentleness, goodness, meekness, joy, love, and temperance, mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen, listen to me, brethren. You know, these are qualities that are rare to find in young Christian men and women today. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And so I want us to pray these things into their life, Amen. that these things will come to pass. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray it in the life of our children, in the life of our young people that come to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to see these fruits of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. begin to speak forth in their character in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Eternal Redeemer, Lord, we lift up our young men and women. Pray, Father, we pray that they will receive power, O oh King of glory, to lead our sons and daughters of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the Spirit of God, filled with the Spirit of humility, filled with the Spirit of gentleness, filled with the Spirit of goodness, filled with the Spirit of meekness, filled with the Spirit of joy, with love, and temperance in the name of Jesus. Father, help them, oh God. Help our young men. Help our young women in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy name, O King of glory. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The next prayer point says, Lord, deliver us, the pastors, from the spirit of disobedience, high-mindedness, and pleasure. Pleasures in the name of Jesus. Amen. We can see very clearly what is happening within this within this period hallelujah Amen. in this generation that we are that many pastors have become men and women that are lovers of pleasure we are so pleasure loving hallelujah Amen. it's so common now for you to see pastors take holidays and they go to dubai <laughs> and they are swimming in swimming pools and doing all kind of things hallelujah it's so common it's so common in this generation that a man can even take holidays for six months and leave his parish and go to somewhere. We are going to pray tonight Amen. that the Lord Almighty God will help us. Amen. We, the pastors, that God will help us and separate us and deliver us from the spirit of disobedience, high-mindedness, and pleasure in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we lift up our voices Amen. and we pray, King of glory. Help us, pastors in this generation. Deliver us, Lord, from the spirit of disobedience, from the spirit of high-mindedness, from the spirit of pleasure. In the name of Jesus, help us, O King of glory. Deliver us, Father, from this kind of spirit, of God. Oh, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Our next prayer point is on sexual immorality. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going so quick. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our next prayer point is on sexual immorality. Amen. And I will be calling them by name. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we shall pray against homosexuality. Amen. We shall pray against lesbianism. Amen. We are going to pray against masturbation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. These are things that are disturbing the church today. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You may think that as a Christian man that goes to church, you are exempted. But if you don't stand your ground and pray, mm. hallelujah. Amen. If you just take these things for granted, before you know what is happening, you can be led into this kind of spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray it shall not be our portion in the name, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. 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 I want us to read what the Bible says in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 1 from verse 28 to 32. Romans 1, 28 says... And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, mm. covetousness, maliciousness, mm. full of envy, mm. murder, debate, 
deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of God, Ooh. that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have A pleasure, pleasure in, in them, them that, that do, do them. it. Hallelujah. Amen. May God have mercy Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will also read the book of Genesis chapter 19 from verse 4 to 8. Genesis 19 from verse 4 to 8 says, But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, Mm -hmm. Compass the house round, yes. both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came in to thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him mm. and said, I pray you, brethren, do not, do, do not so wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as it is good in your eyes. Mm. Only unto these men do nothing. For therefore came they under the shadow of my, my roof. Of my roof. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Brethren, just I want you to understand with me something quickly. Imagine that. Lot in his time, he was not careful to, ima to, to mention that homosexuality, lesbianism, whatever it is, was an evil thing. He mentioned it and he told the people, say, do not deal this evil to this man. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But we live in a time and generation where systems mm -hmm. are pushing us, are obliging us to accept these things and do not call it by its name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We must understand that these are terrible times. These are the perilous times, as the Bible mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, we as Christian men and women, we must stand tall in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To oppose these things vehemently. Amen. Otherwise, a time will come that it will be difficult for us to even tell our children about these things. Because what they will be, their ears and their hearts and their minds would have been fed by what has been told them by the system. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And so tonight we are going to pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Lord, tonight we commit our young people into your hands. Amen. Make them to hate homosexuality and lesbianism Amen. and masturbation with a passion in the name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. We lift up our young people, Lord, Amen. onto the throne of grace. And we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your mighty hand shall descend upon them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, that your grace shall come upon them, O oh God. Amen. Father, to resist this evil that has come in our time and generation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That our children, Lord, shall not be victims of these sorts of practices. Amen. Yes, O oh God, sexual immorality Amen. shall not be their portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray against homosexuality. The name, the name of our children, Lord, Amen. shall be victims of this sort of practices in the, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lesbianism shall not be their portion. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them hate it with a passion. In the name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, give them understanding Amen. that they too may understand that these things are evil. Amen. Oh, King of glory. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are going to pray again. Lord, deliver this generation of married women from the spirit of lesbianism and masturbation. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother, I am, we, uh, what have we, it has been alleged, hallelujah, as we continue to see that the devil 
is marrying even married women into this practice. Mm -hmm. It is not an issue now of only young girls out there who are single. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil is working in different ways. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why we as Christians, we must guard every area of our family Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. making sure that these things do not penetrate from any angle in the name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we lift up our hands yes, unto you Lord. tonight and we pray for all our women. We pray for the married women. We pray for our sisters, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that these things of King of Glory will not penetrate their lives. These things of God will have no influence over them in the name of Jesus, that they will not fall back into such practices in the name of Jesus, that the mighty hand of God of God shall Deliver us in from this name kind of practices in, in Jesus' Lord. name. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Our next prayer point is on generational curses. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to tackle gener generational curses tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, there are different kinds of, you know, generational cases that as people we may suffer in life, especially if you come from a lineage where it is a habit where people divorce frequently. Your father divorced your mother. Your uncle divorced his wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you, you don't stand in the gap to bring your life out of this kind of things, before long, you may find yourself for a victim of it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Having children out of wedlock is another form of generational curse. Amen. Amen. Having children out of wedlock, perhaps you come from a lineage where it's a common practice that people have children before they get married. Hallelujah. Amen. Then became, you came, became a young man. Hallelujah. Such spirit begin to pursue you even into your, into your marital home. You begin to have extramarital affairs. Before you know it, you have a child. Mm -hmm. We have to pray these things out. Mm -hmm. Polygamous marriages. You come from a family of a polygamous uh, heritage. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. it, it tends to have an influence. If you don't pray your life, I, I come from a polygamous home. Mm -hmm. My father was married to three women. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you don't pray yourself out of these things, it may have an adverse influence on you, mm -hmm. and you begin to have issues and problems in your marital life without knowing where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. Frequent query, queries and marital abuse. Husband beating his wife, wife fighting with husband, always fighting, fighting at home. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of these things come from, uh, they come as a result of generational curses. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Being married as a second wife, you find that in some homes, most girls are only giving out to marriage a second wife. You don't know why this kind of things happen. But if you go down the, 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 the line of genealogy, you may realize that it's a common practice that has been in that lineage. That when you have come to know the Lord, you can deliver yourself Amen. by prayer to out of this kind of problems in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why tonight it's important that we pray ourselves out from these issues in Jesus' name, Amen. that we shall not become victims of them, Amen. no matter what. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, my father was married to three women. Before, even before he died, he told us his male children that none of us should ever dare marry more than one wife. Hallelujah. Amen. But that advice alone is not enough. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That advice alone is not enough. You need to pray yourself out of it. Because it is a spirit, mm. and there are demons walking behind them. Mm. You need to stand up tall in the spirit to mm. fight against those spirits Amen. so that you deliver yourself completely from them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read from the book of Romans, Romans chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by, by the, the renewing, renewing of, of your, your mind, mind, that ye may prove what is that good and, and acceptable. acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. 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 So it's important that after we have come to Christ, we renew our mind, Amen. hallelujah, by the word of God, as we stand tall in the spirit, Amen. to pray ourselves 
out of these issues. Amen. Once you identify them, pray yourself out of them. There are many of those generational problems that affect marriages, that affect families. Some of them have not listed them yet, but the Holy Spirit may help you, may guide you Amen. to identify the one that is common in your own genealogy, in your own lineage. And so you, you can pray yourself out of it Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so tonight we are going to pray. Excuse me. We are going to pray, Lord, break the yoke of generational curses mm. over me and my family in the, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The yoke of generational curses. Father, I declare tonight that I will not suffer. Mm. Yes, the challenges the problems, yes, yes. The, the issues that my father suffered in his own life, in my own time, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, every yoke, O King of Glory, of generational curse, that is still operating within my blood lineage. Amen. Jehovah, I deliver myself tonight from it Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I break myself loose Amen. from such spiritual powers in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Amen. I receive power from the throne of grace tonight Amen. to come out from those oppression of darkness over my life Life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, open your mouth and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Yes, identify those issues in your life, in your family, in your lineage. Thank you, King of God. Father, every failure, every sort of disappointment that is common within my family, that is common within my lineage, yes, that brought men born in my family usually suffer. I pray, God, tonight, as I engage myself in this prayer, Father, deliver me, separate me from these things in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, disconnect my descendants, my children, and my children, children from the errors of my present life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That even you, as an individual, living now. Amen. Amen. That the mistakes and the errors you have made mm. will not be transferred to your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It will not become a generational problem that like is continuing to another generation. Tonight, Jesus. lift up your voice and disconnect those things. Disconnect yourself and your children from those errors, from those mistakes, those things you have done in the past. Father, those mistakes I made as a young man, those mistakes I've made in my life as a man. I pray tonight, oh God, that my descendants, my children, my son, my daughter, Lord, my children, children to be born shall not suffer from this kind of problems in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Blessed be the holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And finally, before we close, hallelujah, Amen. we're going to read from the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. Proverbs 18, verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth good thing, and obtained favor from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs 19, verse 14. Proverbs 19, 14. House and riches are uh, the inheritance of fathers and a prudent wife is from the law hallelujah house and riches hallelujah Amen. the inheritance that we receive in this life but a prudent wife comes from the lord hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. amen a prudent wife comes from the lord tonight i want us to make a generous prayer for our young people our Young men and women, uh, in my church, I have a lot of young people. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Some very soon, they'll be getting to married age. Hallelujah. Amen. Already, we are beginning to pray for them. Amen. Hallelujah. That when they get to that time, they will not suffer some challenges and difficulties. Amen. That the Lord Almighty God will take care of that situation. Amen. Even before they get there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, I want us to pray for our young men. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And young women. Amen. That God will bless our young people with husbands and wives, hallelujah. Amen. That as they get to married age, hallelujah, they will not struggle. As they graduate from singlehood to married age, they will not struggle. Amen. That the Lord will open doors for them, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That they shall find their husbands, Amen. they shall find their wives, the that the joy of living, 
hallelujah, as couples shall fill their hearts in the name of, Jesus. The name of Jesus. Amen. Let us lift up our voices and pray for our young people. In the name Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up all our young men yes. and the young women, oh Lord, in our midst. Yes. Father, we pray, King of Glory, bless yes. these young people. The bless them with their life partners, with husbands, with wives. Oh, King of Lord, mold them, train them in the spirit, give them that understanding and that spiritual maturity that they need to handle this kind of serious responsibility as marriage in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. King of Glory, we bless your name tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God in Jesus' name.